Welcome to version 1 of the Triple Bottom Line tool. In this brief overview video, we'll introduce what the Triple Bottom Line tool can do for you, how to navigate the tool, and how to effectively interpret and apply results. The TBL tool is a unique online platform that helps optimize and communicate Triple Bottom Line performance in economic and real estate development. If you approve, fund, or engage in economic development, this tool can be of use to you. Whether you work in the public, private, philanthropic, or nonprofit sector, and whether you're an investor, an economic development professional, or a decision maker. The tool has three primary applications. You can use it to configure projects for stronger performance, to consider alternatives, or to communicate with stakeholders. Let's take a look at the tool. In this frequently asked questions section, you can find information about Triple Bottom Line Economic Development and about the tool. You'll also find a link to our user's guide, which provides detailed information about each measure, including why a measure was selected, what data is used, and any caveats or limitations. On the Casebook page, you'll find 18 cases from across the country that illustrate Triple Bottom Line Economic Development in practice and share lessons learned. On our feedback page, you'll find the link to a brief survey that gives you the opportunity to tell us how the tool can be improved. When you're ready to calculate the TBL score for a project, simply click to get started. You'll begin by creating an account or logging in to an existing account. The landing page will remind you about a few key pieces of information that you'll need to use the tool successfully, including a link to the data entry document that includes all the information that you need to score a project. You can begin a new project or open an existing project by selecting the project of interest from the pull-down menu. Here I'm accessing a project that I've already created. The project will open and you can now move through the tool by clicking on the sub-navigation bar. The tool questions are grouped into six subject areas and the tabs show where you are. Your first step is to draw the boundaries of your project. Here you can find a quick demo on how to enter, save, or change your project boundaries. The tool draws on national data sets and currently applies in the 50 U.S. states. We do have our eye on accommodating non-location-based investments in future versions. You'll see that most questions provide a response button or text boxes, and in a few places there are drop-down menus. Throughout the tool, a click on the blue information bubble will bring you to information about the measure, scoring, why it's important, and things like that. Simply tab back to get back to your data entry screen. Your work is saved as you proceed through the tool, and when you change a response, scores recalibrate. If you would like to compare different versions of a project, go back to the Specify Location section and click on Save As to generate a new version of the project. This allows you to compare how changes in project features affect scoring. You can also rename or delete a project here. If you're in the middle of entering data and want to quit and go to another project, again, you'll go back to the Specify Location area and click on the Project of Interest from the pull-down menu. When you have finished entering data for a project, its TBL report will be calculated and a link to the feedback survey will be provided. A full report is generated when all project information has been entered. If information is incomplete, the tool will generate a working document or partial report that lists information entered thus far and corresponding scores. The tool generates a summary report and a detailed report. The scores suggest how well a project appears to align with the triple bottom line goals of economic vitality, natural resource stewardship, and community well-being. All scores are based on a scale of 0 to 100 and the color of the scores corresponds to the legend which indicates the strength of a score. Goals are comprised of performance areas and performance areas are comprised of measures and submeasures. You can click to drill down and see how a project scored on the performance areas that comprised a goal and you can click further 
to see the measures for each performance area. You can see the information that was entered as well as the scores. For example, here we see that the project will follow green building practices and receive third-party certification and the score is 100. The project information allows you to confirm that the data was entered correctly and to explore project details. In this section, when you click on a blue info bubble, you get information about why the measure is important and how the scores were calculated. The tool was designed to be responsive to project and community context. Throughout the tool, you'll notice that many of the measures provide a lot of flexibility to determine what is right for your community. You'll also see responsiveness to context handled in the project reports with FYIs, bonuses, and NAs. Let's take a look at an example of a bonus point. We know that quality jobs, jobs with good wages and benefits, is an important part of the triple bottom line. At the same time, we know that it's better to have some jobs than no jobs at all. For this measure, a project with better than average annual wages gets a bonus score, but a project that does not have higher than average wages is not penalized. Regarding NAs, if an item is not relevant to a specific project, it's not included in the score. For example, if the project includes housing, there are questions about affordability, and if a project does not include housing, then these questions appear as an NA and are not part of the project score. Other items are not included in the score, but are presented as an FYI. For example, dollars leveraged is not part of the TBL score because there's no research-based rationale for suggesting that the performance of a project is affected by the amount of leveraged dollars. At the same time, this is important information that many funders would, or investors would like to see, so it's provided but is not included in the project score. The report also generates a due diligence section. These are items that you'll want to follow up on. Because the tool draws on user input and national data sets, there are items that should be confirmed or explored. The due diligence report contains check boxes for tracking your review. You can generate a PDF of the report to be printed or saved by clicking here. The PDF includes the summary report as well as the detailed report and due diligence items. When applying the scores, it's important to keep in mind that they provide a general indication of how well a project aligns with TBL goals. The TBL tool provides a research-based, industry-vetted framework that defines TBL goals while offering a lot of flexibility as to how to get there. This means that projects with similar scores may look very different on the ground either because the project types are different, the communities are different, or the approaches to meeting the goals are different. We encourage users to explore the information behind a score and not use scores out of context. The tool goals and measures were informed by leading edge practice, current research, community defined priorities, and end user input, including focus groups, interviews, a national survey of 400 economic development professionals and work with the National Advisory Council. You can find information about this process in our user's guide. While an enormous amount of effort has gone into building the TBL tool, we fully expect the tool to evolve with further feedback from the field. We look forward to your using the tool and sharing your feedback. This concludes our TBL tool overview. Thank you.